I'm Alex, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a bit of a DIY, which I haven't done in quite some time, but today we're going to be focusing on my record player here in the back. To start off, here is a closer look at my record player. It was this spicy blue or tealish color, but it does not fit my home decor style anymore. So we are going to update it first by going to Home Depot and just looking at all the colors. I really thought one would just pop out at me, but really wanted something more neutral. I am so indecisive. I need somebody here to help me pick a pink color. I did end up going with a beige color just because I thought that would fit in with my home decor now but also be more transitional for the future if I wanted to put it in another room. I first started by taking off all of the little feet on the back and removing as much of the hardware as I possibly could. So that mainly was the handle because these little corner pieces have these grommets or I'm not really sure what you call them but I knew that I just could not get them off and I didn't want a chance damaging the actual record player. Next I started by taping off all of the parts that I did not want to paint the body color so that was like the turntable, the inside velvet part on the top and make sure you get really good tape because I was having a lot of trouble with this tape. I think it was scotch tape. I would suggest getting frog tape or something that is more durable and sticky. I taped off all the hardware and that included the buckles, the corner pieces, and the hinges. Here's what it looked like as soon as it was all taped up and then I just went in with the body color basically on anything that was blue I wanted it to be beige. Y'all let me know in the comments what color you would paint this record player if you were doing this. So this is the handle part and it is a very close match. Happy accident um, but I don't know if I should paint it just in case so it will match perfectly or not. It matches pretty well I think. Let me try to get it. Okay, there we go. And it'll be far enough away that it might, you know? I don't know. Is it too gray? So I'm gonna wait to decide on that handle, but I also have to wait an hour or two before I add another coat to the record player or turn it over and spray the other side. I waited a couple of hours and then came back out to my garage trying to get this done before sunset and turned over the turntable so that I can just spray paint the inside. Left that to dry for several more hours. That's the thing about this project is it's a lot of waiting in between paint drying and a lot of taping. So those were the main parts where there was so much time involved, but I would say that this project was very simple and very easy. Here I am trying to figure out the best way to paint the handle and that hardware um, because it just would not stand up on its own. After a few hours of letting that dry, I came back out to the garage and revealed what the body was going to look like by taking all of that tape off, all of that long hard work that I did on taping it. I just, you know, rip it off in three seconds, but I also had let the primer dry on the handle and I went in with the metallic gold spray paint. At first, the gold was looking very gold. I kind of was wanting to go for a more champagne color, I guess, but this was looking very gold, so I was definitely trusting the process. All right, so this was the next day, just trying to figure out if I liked the gold with that kind of body color I put on the record player. And it actually looks really good. Then I went in with more tape and more paper. Yes, more tape. I literally spent so much time taping this project. Um, and I would say that if you are going to do this project, just plan on spending a lot of the time waiting in between paint jobs and also taping off the little intricate details. So this is what it looked like after I had taped off all of the body and only left the hinges and hardware exposed. I then took it back out to the garage and this was on day two and I was just priming all of those pieces so that then I could paint them gold. It's really important to prime the metal so that the spray paint would adhere to it. 
After another few hours of waiting for the primer to dry, I then came back out to the garage to paint the metallic gold on all of the hardware. I had put the record player on a piece of wood just to kind of lift it off the floor so that I wasn't going to have to wait several times to turn it over and paint the other side and I found that that was very helpful. So I let the gold metallic paint dry on the hardware overnight just to be safe. I had only spent a couple hours in between on the body part, but I really wanted to make sure that the hardware was going to be dry enough to, you know, continue on in this project and take it off and, and kind of finish it up. So this was day three and I was just taking all the tape off of everything, making sure that there was no bleeding of the metallic gold. And I did find some spots that needed to be touched up, but I just used some of that spray paint on a paintbrush and went in and, you know, cleaned up those spots. Then I attached all of the hardware back onto um, the handle so that I could attach the handle back onto the body. Note that I did not paint the handle after all, but it's just something I'm gonna have to live with because I am impatient, like I said earlier in the video, and I just kind of wanted this project to be done, and it doesn't look horrible. So when I was attaching the handle, this was kind of a trust the process moment. I had been attaching the handle to the body and something on the inside had fallen off. So I did have to take off the turntable piece of the record player so that I could find the nut to then screw in the handle. After that, I finalized the whole project by reattaching those little rubber feet that go on the bottom. And this is what she looked like. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think of this transformation. I like it so much better than the blue. If you like this video and want to see more like it from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below so we can become besties.